Welcome back, you fucking freaks. You absolute degenerates. Welcome back. And uh, gu guess what? Today, we're going to be talking about Dr. Disrespect again. And I know, I know, I know. Overplayed, oversaturated topic. But today is marks something really important. Uh, like a really important realization that I've just come to. The only reason Twitch figured out about Dr. Disrespect's misconduct, per se, is due to the fact that Twitch is constantly monitoring every every single message you send which, you know, ordinarily, well, I mean, obviously it was for good reason, uh, but there's a lot to chew on today. And this has been brought to my attention because of one person on Twitter who was a previous employee of Twitch and they, their job, their whole job was to investigate people's Twitch whispers. And, um, from what they claim, Dr. Disrespect is not the only major creator who was abusing the Twitch whisper system to talk to minors. Dr. Disrespect was not the the only person using this system to abuse children or or so this person claims uh, now I would really like to see more claims uh, further presented by this guy and more evidence further presented by this guy but not only is, has twitch been harboring pedophiles and creeps that they've known about but they've also significantly breached constitutional rights by this claim uh, and this is a claim that you know could potentially be far worse than the NSA accusations. You know the whole meme about how you have a FBI agent in your in your phone hiding out and shit? Yeah, that was started because the NSA unironically spied on you for like years. Like years they would wiretap and hack into your webcam, hack into your search history, your messaging apps, everything. They had tabs on all of it. Um, And this is unironically something that I would consider to be comparable to that. We see here in this tweet, the tweet reads, the doctor disrespect situation. I don't think most people have an idea of how bad things were behind the scenes at Twitch. I literally worked in the department that had access to most of the data and information. I saw private whispers, etc. It was literally my job to investigate daily. I saw things every single day that I wish I never had to see. I always advocate for being a good human. Always expressed with heavy emotion on my streams how Twitch let pedophiles run free every day. I signed an NDA and afraid to get in trouble, but I have to say something. It's been bothering me for so long. These sick fucks don't deserve to be free. You know, on God, bro, you spitting bars, bro. That is crazy. So the f the the fact that what he's claiming here is not only severe, on, it's severe on two cases. It's severe on one case of the fact that Twitch was harboring child molesters. Um, and it's severe on the fact that Twitch has been spying on everybody who uses their in-app messaging system. Now, this is deplorable. Like for, 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 for many reasons, this is deplorable. Um, and I, I would like to encourage this guy to come out about everything that he has and, and to somehow grant, you know, photo evidence somehow or, or maybe screenshot evidence or present even claims against some of the people that are also abusing this system to, you know, solicit terrible things from minors. I, I think th if this guy is on the money, I think he's in a perfect place to do some good for society. And uh, I think coming out about it on Twitter in his situation and his from his perspective is possibly the best thing he can do now is this potentially false information yes this is potentially completely not true and fake and uh, fucked up fucked in the head bro but it also is potentially very true and very important and from some of the business practices that twitch has implemented throughout the years and through some of the you know unfair bans and some of the unfair unfair practices that Twitch has just flagrantly, you know, flagrantly used, right? The the absolutely baseless bans that Twitch has created, the absolutely hypocritical breaches of their own contracts with creators and breaches of their own laws and rules. And it, like, it would not surprise me that Twitch is spying on your whispers. Now, something that would surprise me is Twitch harboring pedophiles. And if these allegations are true, then this this whole fucking website needs to get investigated by the FBI. If these allegations are true, then something way, way, way fucking worse than just Dr. Disrespect being a creep and getting banned for it is going on. Something 
absolutely terrible could be lurking in the shadows of, of twitch.com right now, and I think that is absolutely alarming. If this tweet does not scare you, there's something fucking wrong with you, or you just don't know what Twitch is. This is absolutely alarming. I don't even think I can state that enough. And the guy went on to also post, sorry, it's pretty vague. I'm literally afraid for legal reasons and safety reasons. I wish I could explain more, but wanted to let you guys know half the shit you assume is probably true. Of course, I reported everything I saw directly to authorities within minutes. It's also highly illegal to save anything related to these cases. Look up CSAM laws. Let's just pray investigations complete and creeps are held accountable. Thanks for the support and weird people stop. This is incredibly, incredibly damning. This is an incredibly damning allegation. And if, if this is false, then this guy needs to be like strung up. This guy needs to be fucking locked up for slander, right? Because if this is not false, Twitch as a entire website needs to be investigated. Twitch has been letting, he, he even states in the initial tweet, always expressed with heavy emotion on my streams how Twitch let pedophiles run free every day. That is right there. That is the kicker. That is the biggest, most damning allegation on this entire thing. And I, I think if this is not true, if, the, if what he's claiming is not true, this guy needs to actually be sued for slander, right? Because this would be fucked up if it's not. If this is true, then we are about to see one of the absolutely fucking craziest uh, arcs in Twitch history, all right? We are about to see one of the fucking craziest arcs in internet history, all right? This is an absolutely wild tweet. And I, you know, it sounds fucked up of me to say, but I can't wait to see where this goes from here, you know? Uh, I'm not only excited to see what this does for the internet and internet culture, but I am also really fucking scared if this is true uh, for what that means for any underage person on Twitch and the danger that they could possibly be fucking facing, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, this is really fucking tweaking me out, dude. But I hope you all had a nice day. I'm having a so-so day. Figured out some people are, are some pretty big ops, you know what I mean, in my personal life. Uh, but it's all good, dude. We keep on keeping on. We fucking carry it on, bro. I'm trying to fucking daily upload until I go see my girlfriend in, um, in, ju in July. So July 1st, I'm gonna be gone till July 10th. And then July 14th, I'm gonna be gone till July. July 24th. Uh, but then I'll be back and I'll try to daily upload a lot, but uh, I probably won't. I'll probably do like twice a week after that. I'm not going to lie. Um, but yeah, I hope you all have an absolutely wonderful day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Oh yeah. One more thing. Bro, talk shit when you running him down. He don't want to smoke with a gang, no, no. That shit is not advised. I've been on my come up, no, some people with no rise. They ain't got no money and they not up, no surprise. No, no, no. Man, I'm rapping, I'm a 